Oh, it's recording. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Trip Smith here on YouTube, and in this video, we're in the beautiful Florida Panhandle at uh, St. No, what is it called? Phillips Inlet, right here behind me under that bridge, less than a mile, the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Over the next couple of days, got some exciting stuff coming. We're about to go ahead and find us a camping spot, drop off some of our camping gear to lighten our load. Then we're gonna head back out to the Gulf and uh, maybe play with this new paddle board that I'm trying out. And I actually have two new inflatable paddle boards I'm trying out this weekend. Both of them have something unique to bring to the table like this one. I'm probably gonna let the air out of it while I'm out on the water at some point. So that's gonna be interesting. This is a beautiful area. We may do some surfing, some snorkeling, some crabbing, maybe even some floundering. Oh, jam-packed right here for you folks for an adventure. You guys ready? I am. We've even got a new mosquito armor that's gonna be really exciting to try. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the adventure. Let's roll. Yeah, so I've got two new paddle boards here that Aqua Marina sent me. And both of them have something a little different, something a little unique, uh, you know, different than what I've used in the past. So here I'm unfolding the first one, brand new, out of the package, smelling good. And I'm gonna try a new way of inflating it. I've got one of those little cheap emergency uh, tire air pumps, air compressors. And we're gonna see if it'll pump her up. I've always thought, yeah, wouldn't it be nice if this would work? Yes, it would be nice. So I let this thing roll for a little while maybe like 10 minutes or so and I never really got anywhere so I ended up getting the pump out because really and truly the pump doesn't take that long you know, less than 10 minutes you're ready to go sometimes even seven minutes depending on how hard you want to work it's a little workout but you know it's not too bad you, know, you do have a lot of convenience with the lightweight and the durability and the just portability of an inflatable board it makes it all worth it but you can't get a better electric pump that hopefully I'll get in the future. So you just pick up your board, head to the water, hey, you're ready for an adventure. So I've never been to this area before. I'm trying to find somewhere to camp. Before I came, I got on Google Maps and kind of took a look of where some uh, places to stealth camp may be and still within decent, you know, close distance of places I want to be. And, uh, this might be a decent spot. It's definitely a really pretty place. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, people have told me that this is a beautiful area, but it really is. We may end up cruising up and down this shore a little bit, try to find us some decent trees for the hammock. We'll find something. Oh, I might have found something. Something right up there. Oh look, an old campfire. Ooh, look at these briars. Mm. That'll work. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is an awesome spot. Awesome spot. All right, let's make the paddleboard a little lighter, easier to paddle, unload some gear. We'll head out and see what, see what we can find. See what we can find. Basically just leaving my camp gear and my major food uh, some extra water, my clothes, and my sleeping system. I think all that stuff will be safe. I don't see any folks out here, and I kind of put in the bushes over there. And I've got my Lucy Light solar lantern out here charging in the sunlight. It's kind of out in the open, so if anybody pulls up, they'll probably see it, but. Oh well, <laughs> let's go explore. This is the good stuff here.
Get up here by this little park. This is the St. Helens State Park. I spotted a freshwater shower. Might have to take advantage of that later. About to be too shallow, I'm afraid. I hug this edge. Let's ease it to the front of the board. Get that rear fin out of the water. Oh, oh, we get stuck. Right over there. We're so close to the Gulf. Oh yeah, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Short little paddle right out here to this beautiful water that I love. Mm. I love it a lot. A lot, lot. The water's not as clear as it normally is. We've had some pretty windy days recently. That's kind of stirred it up a little bit. But there is a little artificial reef right down this way, not very far. I'm gonna go check out. I left my fins and all at the truck. Plan on doing this tomorrow, but I'm already out here. Let's go check it out. Well, I cruised up and down a little bit, but didn't have any luck finding it. There's supposed to be some sort of landmark or something on the shore. I'm gonna see if I can spot it. I should have seen it. I should have found it. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's called Camp Helen State Park. Not St. Helen. Camp Helen. My bad. I think the board's good. Where's some signage at? Signage something. Dip, 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 dip. Nothing about a reef. No signs about a reef. Right over there is where the inlet comes out. Hey, wait a minute. We got some uh, little paddlers going out. I wonder if they're going out to the reef. All right, I'm gonna get on my phone real quick and look at the map, see what I can see. This is supposed to be it though, I think. Okay, I was wrong. I just checked out the map. It's a bit further down the beach, so I guess that's why I wanted to do it tomorrow. Because I'll be on the race board, so I'll be a little faster. So, we'll plan on doing that tomorrow. Good news, the board's still here. Alright, it's 2.45, I haven't really had any lunch. I figure now's a good time to steal and get a bite to eat. Looks like we're having jerky. Just recently I got a really good deal on a bunch of out-of-date jerky. <laughs> like a really good deal. 
Y'all probably see me eating a lot of jerky in the next few videos. Some turkey jerky. Oh yeah, check this out. It says field trip. Get out there. You guys see that? Maybe you can see it. <laughs> That's awesome. And then some beef steak. Get out there. Spotted some small crab out here. See if we can dip them up with a net. Yeah. Uh. Not a blue crab, it's still a crab. He's almost an eater. up here by the grass, see if we can spot some crabs. <laughs> Not a good sign. wondered what would happen if you take the air out of one of these bad boys. Watch out. Whoa, don't do it. <laughs> what do you say we see what happens? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> well, as you can see, if you get a big hole in it <laughs> or open the valve, it's going to deflate pretty quick. But uh, with this one, it has an internal air chamber. So if you do get a hole in your board, if you're worried about that, I think you'll be all right. Granted, you're not going to have the most fun paddling this back, but you won't be dead in the water either. Let's see what you can do. So if you needed to, lighten the load a little bit or maybe keep it on there, you can still get back home. Pretty cool, innovative stuff by Aqua Marina.
So the board I've been using so far today is the Aqua Marina Hyper. It's the 12 foot, six inch long version. And there is something extremely unique that you guys just saw about this board. I haven't technically done it yet, but I'm about to go do it. I just don't want to deflate it yet. The board is pretty cool, pretty unique. I can tell it's, it does have high quality construction. Most inflatables that are the same length and width are gonna paddle fairly similarly unless there's a few different factors, but most of them paddle pretty well. This one paddles just fine. One of the differences in inflatables are the features that are on it. And there's a few things that this thing are lacking that I would prefer to have. That's a handle in the front or some sort of D-ring to attach a rope or a line, or the same thing, a handle or a, well, a handle in the back. It does have a D-ring on the rear, but not a handle. It has the one center handle, and you know, different boards have different amount of handles. I've found that I like a lot of handles. I like one on the front if I'm dragging the board, or like somewhere to attach a line or something to the board. The look of the board is very nice, very attractive board. The pad's great. I have no super issues with it, other than the inner, I don't know what you want to call it, air compartment, that center air compartment, your reserve air. Um, it's not letting the board inflate perfectly flat. So in other words, if you rub your hand across from from one side to the other side, oh, wait, how can I do that? From one side to the other, one side, where's that at? That's back, one side, where, how do I get there? How do I, from one side to the other side, it's, it's not flat. It like goes up and then down and then back up. And it repeats that mm, on the bottom as well. So I don't know, I mean, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, you can feel it for sure when you stand up. Uh, the board still does track straight and everything. I don't know. I, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Maybe uh, I really don't know. Uh, it's unfortunate that that board is like that. Maybe it's the one I got. I really don't know. But one thing is for sure, though, with that inner air compartment, just in case your board does go flat, it's not going to sink on you. So this just shows that inflatable paddle boards are they're constantly evolving and they're getting better and better. But I'm about to get out. This thing's, I guess you could say, bigger brother. It's a 14-footer race board. Narrower, longer, faster. Let's see how she does. All right, time for a little change of pace. Just deflated the other board, rolled it up, put it in the bag, pumped this one up by hand. <laughs> that little electric pump that I got that plugs into the cigarette lighter. No good. I don't know if it quit or if it just was going so slow it was just worthless. I need to get a better pump to plug into the truck because that would be really nice. But I've never been on anything this narrow or this long. I think it's like, I'll look it up, but I think it's 29 inches wide, but it's 14 foot long. And like 20 something, or yeah, like 29 pounds or something. It is a race board, so it doesn't have bungees in the back. It's all it's really lacking versus the Hyper. But I still do wish it had a handle on the front or something, but whatever, we'll make it work. Let's go, I wanna see how she paddles. That looks clean. Well, it is definitely faster. <laughs> it's noticeably faster. But it's noticeably uh, a little bit tippier. And it's not like you're going to fall off or anything super easy, but... It is definitely faster, and it's easier to cruise. So for the same amount of effort as other boards, you go farther and faster. We're going to the shower over there. <laughs> Doing well. Not nah, super, no. <laughs> Couple stingrays, that's about it. All right, just beats the board. Unfortunately, the sun went down and the breeze started blowing, so it's kind of cool. It's going to be a cold shower in just a little bit. <laughs> I'd rather have a cold shower than be all nasty and stinky. Pretty good spot to rig kayaks. They got some decent ones too. They have got a clean shower for me. Thank y'all. It's gonna be cold. 
I used to take cold showers, or sometimes I do take cold showers. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> There's some benefit to it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that shot a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> that shot a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Most beach showers are nice and easy. <laughs> Now I'm fresh. I don't know if we're gonna find any crabs. We're gonna try. Maybe getting later in the day. I think the tide's coming in. Not that there's much like actual tidal fresh water movement, but the water's getting higher. Maybe that'll bring the crabs in to feed in the grass and stuff like that. And we'll get some. I am ready to try out my mosquito clothes though. It's gonna be fun. Well. If they work, it'll be fun. <laughs> if they don't work... <laughs> oh, and while I'm out there stalking the crabs, they be sure to let you know that there's something out there probably stalking you too. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's always a roll of the dice. Nah, I ain't too worried about the gators. I don't know, gators do kind of kill folks in places in Florida. Hopefully not me. <laughs> Mullet. Man, I wish I knew if I could eat those oysters. Probably get sick and keel over and die out here. Spotted one. He probably bailed. I don't know where he went. Just cruising around. First house dock I came to has some pretty sweet rides. Solo skiff and a boat rack them up there. Pretty cool. Mm. Alright, so we're back at camp. We didn't catch a crab. Only saw two. Just couldn't get, just couldn't get them. Oh well, that's okay because I am super hungry. I don't really want to fiddle with a fire and cooking them and cleaning them and all that stuff. So I'm just about to eat like everything I've got. I'm so hungry. It's ridiculous. So what's the plan, Trip? Plan is to get a snack. Get our shoes on first, get a snack, set up camp, and eat. And then wait till the mosquitoes come out, because I'm kind of excited about when the mosquitoes come out today, because they've got some special clothes. They're supposed to be mosquito proof. Chemical free and all, just a special weave. I don't know. We'll see how it works. What if there was clothing you could wear that they can't bite through that's still not like hot and stuff. I think that might be what I've got. We'll see. Everything's here. Starting to see some bugs. Hammock, tarp, food. Under, it's on the bottom. Lights, electronics, filming light, grill, no crab, toiletries, uh, batteries, earplugs, lighter, stuff like that. Whoop. 
I'm getting bit. All right. Food. Food. Okay, we're getting bit. Jack Link's beef pepperoni stick. We're gonna get one. We're gonna put on our clothing that we hope and pray works. Mmm. Never had. Mmm. Pepperoni stick. Uh. Mm -hmm. About like a Slim Jim. I like it because it's easy to chew. All that jerky for lunch. Mm. My jaw got sore. All right, clothing. Here we go. I got splinters. I was walking through the grass earlier to switch kayaks or switch paddle boards. I stepped in a bunch of stickers. It was horrible. All right, so this clothing that I speak of is called Rhino Skin. I found it when I was just researching how to deal with mosquitoes. It's like a long john type material, like an Under Armour type stuff that has a special weave, I guess, supposedly the mosquitoes can't bite through. Although the company did contact me, uh, like when I told them, all right, I'm headed out to try the clothes out after I'd already got them. They were like, hey, uh, uh, by the way, you're supposed to wear clothing over them for it to work. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, so let's wear like a cotton shirt or something, you know, like that over it for it to work. But in their photos on the website, like it showed people like just wearing this. So hopefully, they can't bite through this or I'm I'm gonna be a little let down because that's not what I was led to believe by looking at the website because I don't know let's just hope it works I think I should start with pants all right I'm gonna stop the camera for that that's a horrible 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 angle I hope the folks just didn't see me change I hope there ain't some folks over there in the woods so, across the way take my bathing suit off I did hear a woo or something. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of briars and stuff out here. So I ended up putting on my own pants because I know sure as the world, I'll get careless and I'll rip those pants and they're really nice. I don't want to mess them up. So we're just going to try the shirt and the gloves and I got a headpiece and socks. I could try all that before I go to bed. Then at bedtime, I think I'm going to do all of it. I just don't want to mess that stuff up. You know, they did give it to me. I don't want to be careless with it and tear it up and be like, hey, it ripped, you know. Why am I sitting down changing my shirt? All right, check it out. Oh, like, it's really unique feeling. Like, I know people wear, like, you know, their Under Armour, you know, thermals and stuff but this is different it's like really like smooth and stretchy and nice like really nice feeling and it like I just put it on and I don't I it's not hot that's what I really 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 like about it it's almost cooler than not wearing it okay now just for fun I'll show you guys I also got the uh, the headpiece <laughs> So I could wear this. I even got the gloves. See, so there we go. All right, so I think I can wear this shirt and see if anything bites. Now there are no seams and mosquitoes out already. So this is supposed to protect you from no seams, ticks, ant bites, everything. So I don't know, we'll see. I could just see, you know, like on a hot night, instead of having to wear, you know, pants or a loose shirt or something, and get kind of hot. If you could just wear this stuff, which is, I'm telling you, super thin and super cool, you could be comfortable all the time. That's what I'm hoping it is. Okay, where's my pepperoni sticks? Let's see, how old is this? Best Buy, December 10th, 2018. It's like April, almost May, 2019. It is jerky. Tastes good to me. Okay, I gotta no see him over here. I'm ready to see a mosquito land on me. Let's see if he can get me or not. All right, so what's actually for supper? Pack of gourmets, kicking chicken hot wing wrap, four ounces of cool water, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then add in the mayo and Texas Pete hot sauce and enjoy. Come on. And then we'll also have, oh, I don't know. Oh man, I dented my avocado with the sardine can. Got the green on the sardine. 
sardine can. All right, they're coming out. Sardines, pack of gourmet, maybe a Lara bar, maybe a little bit of honey almond butter, and maybe some dark chocolate, 72% cacao, cacao. Okay, the headpiece is going back on. That's all there is to it. Ricky didn't wear it like that. I think I'm just gonna wear it like this though. Let's put the hammock up. Yeah, I gotta stop eating. We're supposed to have lunch and all tomorrow. Okay, maybe we won't eat the sardines. Getting a little excited here. We're gonna save the sardines. The rest of the pepperoni sticks. We got a lot of almond butter. I'm used to like literally fasting for a while and then feasting for like a few hours, just eating so much food, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's really good for you. I'm pretty unorganized right now. This stuff is kind of everywhere. Usually a lot better than this. Water, water. Water's still over in the bushes. Nah, let's do a little more. Yeah, a little much, but whatever. Chicken, chicken, hot wing soup. All right, let's get this almond butter ready to enjoy. Basically, I just want to get all my food ready to eat that I'm probably gonna go live on Facebook and Instagram. If you guys aren't on Instagram, y'all need to be. That's where my story is of today. And of my eh, sometimes unique life, sometimes Pretty normal. <laughs> okay, don't eat any of this food trip. That and the almond butter, yeah, that'll be enough for tomorrow. I'm not gonna eat all the almond butter tonight. <laughs> That'd be crazy if I did. Probably could. You guys ever had honey almond butter? Woo! Mm. This, and they also have a vanilla. I mean, it's not like a cookie, but Pretty good. Mm. If there's one thing I can do well, is eat. Like whenever I go to a buffet after fasting, I fast like every day, but whenever I go to a buffet every once in a blue moon, oh, it's good. I impress myself. Especially an all-you-can-eat sushi. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. I'll put them back. Or fried catfish, or hot wings. Mm. All right, just finished going live on Instagram where people were making fun of me. Thanks a lot, y'all. It's really great for my self-esteem because I'm so insecure as it is. Not really. Whoa, that smells good. Oh, and while I was doing it, I was filming like the mosquitoes were like they were getting me like around here, but not anywhere else. Shirts working so far. Oh, I'm so excited. It's supposedly best for the algorithm if I don't, so I'm not doing it. But, like, that's one of my favorite things. Come to Rocket Dock. We'll hang out. We'll do some live stuff. Trust me. Just ask the folks who were there last year. It's all you gotta do. <laughs> we had some fun. Oh, we had some fun. Speaking of Rocket Dock, we got a lot of registrations coming in. How many? Well, I'm going to keep that number to myself for a little bit longer because, I don't know, we're probably going to do a contest on Facebook so you can guess how many people are going to, you know, what the final number will be. But let me just say, the rate of registrations are more than twice as much and twice as fast as last year. We're on pace to have a heck of a rock -a dock Look, the mosquitoes are in my face. Did you all see that? Where'd he go? They're not getting me anywhere else. Suckers. Y'all, battling mosquitoes is so horrible. Look, nothing on my foot. Nowhere else. All right, man, to put the socks on in. I got socks, you joke. 
Man, my camera's really not good at low light on my cell phone. But the food is delicious and so easy. Anything that makes my life easier, I love it. These clothes, this food, an inflatable paddleboard, a hammock, they all make my life easier. That's why I use it. Mosquito. And there, there's a bunch of them out here. Whoop, bit on my hand. They're big too, man. Get the gloves on a little bit. I've seen one land on my clothes and he didn't bite, but I want to see more, but they're not biting it for some reason. Whatever. They're biting everywhere else. There we go. Now I look creepy. Good Lord, we can all see the bugs now. I hope y'all can see them. They are getting me on my hands. they once in a while around here and around my ankles. Other than that, look at that. Look at that. They're huge on me. They're not biting my pants, thank God. That's almost scary, man. How many there are. Jeez, man. Ain't spreading air squirt of bug spray. Drop my Laura bar. Look out, mosquito. There's a thousand. I feel like I should be playing some MC Hammer. Do, 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 can't touch this. You know what I mean? Here they are, right there. Got one. He's, he's gone. He was about that tall, too. All right, right there on my shoulder. What you gonna do now, buddy? Get on my hand. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. I've eaten so much food. I wonder what half a jar of almond butter is. One ninety per serving. I've had five. That's <laughs> almost a thousand. Oh yeah, I put down half of it. That's like, what nine hundred calories or something. Plus one twenty for the bar. Three forty for the meal. However much for the beef sticks or pepperoni sticks. I'm bumping fifteen hundred calories. Probably. Shoot, probably 16, 1700 calories for supper. Y'all see these things? Yeah, I am. Mm. Uh oh. I think I got a mosquito bite on my back. Right on the shoulder blade muscle, kind of points out the most. And mine are kind of big, so I searched tight there. Might have been one. Not certain. Morning, y'all. I slept pretty good. I did wake up about 10 after 5, wondering if my paddleboard was still here because I forgot. Yesterday when I got here, I didn't really pull it up onto the sand. I was wondering, did the tide change and it drift away and am I going to be swimming this morning? Unfortunately, it's still there. 6.40 now. The clothing worked. And I think... I think all in all, I got like maybe three bites through the clothes. I did end up putting the gloves on last night because I, you know, a lot of times I'll sleep. I'll put my arms up and stuff to sleep in different positions in the hammock. And I was getting a few bites on my hands. Then I put the gloves on and they stopped. I didn't get any more. I've gotten three bites. I know I've gotten two, maybe one. The one on my back and then maybe 
then I got one this morning. I slept like this. I got it right here on my left elbow, the inside of my elbow. And I got another one on the back side of this arm. But the website did say it stops like 98% of all mosquito bites, so it's probably right. Definitely made sleeping a lot nicer. I didn't have to worry so much about being under the bug net and stuff because I just wore my, you know, my head net deal and slept with it. I'll certainly be wearing this stuff when I sleep now. Like, seriously. All right. We need to get up and get after it. We got some fun stuff to do today. And we're gonna be here like most of the day because I got a late start yesterday. So, oh boy, we got a boat coming. Jeez, let's get out of this highlighter green. Jeez, this must be a popular spot. We got another boat coming too. Oh. oh, it feels good to stretch. I think we've experienced a rare phenomenon here in Florida. Not everything is, there's a mosquito. Not everything is covered with dew this morning. So we go ahead and pack up and head out. That's what we'll do. Look at there, camp packed up in just minutes. Pretty much ready to go. All right, I've got a little thorn or splinter or something in the bottom of my foot I've got to get. And it's really small, so I can't get it with my fingers. It's just bothering me. So, let's do some surgery. Not a very good point at all. Like, at all. <laughs> no, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know what? My first aid kit here might. Has tweezers. I think it does. It does. Maybe they've got a finer point on them. Maybe. Don't fall in the water. Precision forceps, it says. I touch it, it pushes it in more. Feels like it's so small. Dang. All right, let's enjoy our breakfast before we go. I've got a video about my first aid kit. I'll link to below if you guys want to check it out. It's just the first one that I put together. I think it was some pretty good stuff in it. Food, food, food. Not in this bag. You guys see this dry bag? I like this dry bag because it has a Ziploc closure at the top. So you don't really have to like be super, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Super, I don't know. You don't have to be super aware of how well you roll it and seal it to get a watertight seal because you've got this super heavy duty Ziploc to do the job for you. So it's really nice. It's a Out XE dry bag. Gave away some at Rocket Dock last year. Food. Oh yeah, we're having a oh we're having a good breakfast. 
All right, let's reuse this water bottle. <gasps> We're gonna make this banana berry smoothie that I've got and really don't care for. Not too much water, we'll make it strong. <laughs> okay. I mixed it a lot thicker this time. Less water, it's good. Okay, that, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Then we've got just a quick Walmart stop yesterday morning. My dented avocado <laughs> and a Metrics cookie crunch bar. Just gonna get it down and get on the water. See how you do that avocado? Nice and easy. Pretty much long. That's probably 60 seconds. All right, I'm gonna down this, then we're gonna get on the water. Then about a mile that way to go to the truck, unload some of the gear, get something else, my slack line. We're gonna head back out to the gull. I'm also gonna grab my fins, just in case we can find the snorkel reef, and in case the water clears up. I've got this strap down, dry bag just balancing up there, and the dry bags just balancing on the back. But I think they'll stay pretty good for our stroll, one mile stroll back to the truck. It's about time to head back out of the Gulf. We got a little over a mile paddle ahead of us, which would be nice. It's still good and calm out there. And you guys know how much I enjoy music and tunes. Well, I had a company reach out to me and they sent me something right here. Now, typically, you guys have seen me jam a lot to my Bluetooth speaker. It's Bluetooth to my cell phone, and I'm just jamming. Well, this is something a little different. These are Bluetooth sunglasses, not just like regular sunglasses. Like they don't have like earbuds or anything of that sort. Basically it's called bone conduction or something, but it's got like little speakers in the side here and a little thing that goes against your head supposedly, and you can hear the music. All right, let's fire up some tunes. Amazon Music. All right, turn it on. Still learning this thing. Power, it just said power on. All right, so we're good to go. Put on our beachy playlist. <laughs> Little Zach Brown, where the boat leaves from. All right, perfect song for right now. And see, this is cool for me personally because I can jam to music and I can still film because a lot of times I would have trouble because I like to listen to music so much but I'll have to film too, and I can't have the music in the video. So now I can jam, have a good time with the music going. This is going to be fun. But y'all just going to see me like dancing out in the middle with no music or anything. So it may, it may look a little funny, but that'll be fine. One part C, one part shade of banana tree. The drinks are cold and the reggae is hot. And I know this is the place for me. So get away. What a perfect song. I know some people were like, oh no, don't torture us with this. <laughs> I'll try to edit as much of it out as I can, folks, all right? <laughs> but see, I don't, I don't need this right now. And don't grab your coats. You won't need them where we are going. 
Okay, I didn't realize I was going to like them this much. I mean, I've used them before, but now just knowing that I can jam and film, <laughs> game changer for me. Game changer. Sunshine Tan Lady, Pina Coladas, and Bob Marley's songs that I play. In. Song in my ear, I want you to hear some tropical lips that I sing. Oh, this is nice, y'all. It's a recipe for a good day. Well, they got about four hours of battery life, supposedly, so, and that's not that, that great, but whatever. You have to get me a few pair. <laughs> get away. <laughs> I've even got where I can change the track here. Change the song, man. Oh, this is great. <laughs> now we're somewhere on a beach. <laughs> What's next? Oh, yeah. Left the midnight special. Mm -hmm. Time to light on me. Boom, boom, boom. Eager for action. Hot for the gate. The coming attraction. Out every evening until it was light. Too tired to make it, she was too tired to fight about it. Life in the fast lane. Show to make you lose your mind. Ooh, tide's coming in. Water's getting clear. Cool. Thanks sure is. It's flowing backwards. Nice. You trying to hide, buddy? Lucky. Flounder. Tell me that my loving didn't mean that much. Tell me you ain't dying when you're praying for me. That's cool. Tell me what it takes to let you go. Woo! All right, I can see two poles or three poles out on the beach over there look like what you line up to find the reef I'm about to get on my knees this thing is a little tippy oh I'm just not as relaxed on it oh yeah I see some fish up oh, here it is yep this is it no buoy it was a buoy at the last one I went to See it down there? Man, I wish there was a buoy to tie to. <sighs> Sometimes I, I'm not very proud of myself. This is one of those times. It's not the most pretty day. I like the sun shining, I like the clear water. It just isn't it. I don't have a buoy to tie to. <sighs> I mean, I'm just not comfortable getting in the water. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. It's cloudy, overcast, you can't see good in the water. Just, you know, there's always, you know, you think of sharks, you think of whatever, and you, I'm out here by myself. Whatever. I gotta come back, bring somebody with me, bring an anchor or something or something. On a prettier day, after we haven't had a lot of bad weather recently, when it's a lot clearer. Gosh, I hate this. Supposed to be, you know, some brave dude. <laughs> I guess not today, huh? All right, we still got fun stuff to do. <laughs> we did find it. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> oh, I hate myself sometimes. Out of depression. <laughs> Let's treat ourselves with a snack. Make us feel better. <laughs> How about another beef steak? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Well, whatever. I am what I am. I is what I is.
Check this out. That's pretty awesome. I was just live on Instagram. I tried something for the first time. Just, just got in my head and I gave it a try. <laughs> I waited a little too long. I stayed on the line too long. I over rotated. Got a little sandy. To it. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. All right, so we're on the little one right now. These are close together. It's pretty easy, or easier. <laughs> so let's. How about we stretch it across? There. That's a good uh, forty or fifty feet versus like 12. Quite a bit different. Let's do it. 
I don't know if we'll be able to walk this one or not. But we shall see. Finally made it across. It took a lot of tries. I just walked it off. It was 20 and a half paces, to somewhere around 55, 60 foot. Pretty good. Yeah, I remember when I tried this over a spring and I couldn't get with like two feet. We'll get it this year. We're gonna get it. All right, it's probably been about two hours. A slack line and fun. Let's roll it up, do something else. But my stabilizing muscles are just getting weak only made it across once i almost like got like so so close a handful of times but it was fun i got better all right there isn't much surf out there but i think we're gonna go play around in it just a little bit just get a feel for it i'll probably fall constantly on this narrow board because like you're supposed to surf on like short fat boards not long narrow boards whatever just gonna go have some fun getting plenty of exercise in today plenty Okay, we got a wave coming. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, we're doing it! <laughs> Woo! A little farther out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> I didn't get my stance. Switch up my stance for that one. I don't think that's why I fell. I was having a lot of fun though. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, we got a good one here. Ooh, dig, baby, dig. Oh, stamps. Okay, we got it. Oh, we don't got it. I waited too late to get the stance. I gotta get the stance down. <laughs> oh, pull that. Crab? Yes. Okay, Ooh, whoop, 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 wait, turn. Okay, I need to back up on the board, I think. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Enjoying it. Hey. It ain't easy. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta start straight, Trip. Oh, it snows at it. Nice job. <laughs> but I have a good time. <laughs> yeah. But don't lose the GoPro. As we're cruising in here. Big time fun right there. I just quit because there were no waves, and here they come. some playing around on the, the race right back in here but it was a lot of fun but the aqua marina race 14-0 i can see we take it out some more i'm glad i've got it 
pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Even though it is narrow, a little tippier, it's still a good board to have. One thing that I will say is that the Aquamarina boards have, they have a different fin system where the fin attaches. I don't know what it's called, but I really like it actually. Um, it's pretty simple and the fin is really sturdy in there uh, and doesn't move around a lot. Uh, it's pretty easy to pop in and out, but it's also difficult at the same time. So it's not just going to pop out on you on accident. I appreciate Aquamarina for sending me these. Oh, and the paddle too. This is by far the nicest paddle that I have. And it's not super expensive. This is like a full carbon paddle and it breaks down where you can you know, store it in the bag, but it is super nice. I, I weighed them at home. It's like half the weight of my old paddle. Super light and I still had a decent paddle. I mean, like an $80 paddle. I think this is like a, you know, like a 140 or 160-ish dollar paddle, but it is super nice, very rigid. I mean, and it looks awesome. And I've kind of, it looks really good even after me kind of stabbing it down in the sand and stuff this weekend, so, for these past two days. Well, folks, I believe that's about the gist of it. Thank y'all for watching. Take care. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next adventure. God bless, and as always, get out there. See you, folks. Thanks for watching.